What's up guys, Fox here, and today we're doing a little in real life video because uh, recently I was cleaning out uh, some stuff from my house looking for just some comics from my childhood, more specifically my Archie Sonic comics, which I did come across, but I also came across something that I believe was lost to time and just like the move that I've, we've made, my family has made in these last couple of years. Now, a little bit of backstory now, give me a second. All right, guys, so back around, I wanna say like 2005, 2006, I was really obsessed with Nintendogs and with the Nintendo DS. So much so that before I even owned a Nintendo DS, I actually bought this book right here, which is called uh, Pups, the official Nintendogs Companion. So this is basically a strategy guide. Now, I remember seeing this in Game Crazy, if any of you remember what a Game Crazy is, and uh, kudos to you. So basically, I bought this book, and this was like one of my favorite things to read when I was around like 9, 10 years old. And when I eventually did get my Nintendo DS with Nintendogs, you know, I was all crazy over that game. That game was like my jam for like quite a few years. Now, when I was in fourth grade, uh, that was, I would say, my peak uh, fandom for this uh, video game. So much so that I decided to make a story about it. Now that I'm older, now that I have more internet knowledge in me, I have found out that what I made all those years back was in fact a fan fiction. Now, um, I found that fan fiction along with that book, and I thought, what better way to reminisce this very, very cringy story than to actually share it with you guys, to actually read along with you guys. But without further ado, I present to you uh, Pups on Nintendo Story. As you can see, I was all up in that plagiarism. So I don't know how good you guys can see this uh, right there. You can see, <laughs> you or you, you can just see the whole thing. There are some dogs right there. Now this story, uh, I actually wrote on the back of it. I actually wrote on the back of it. Now let's read what the story is about. I went full out. You can see this thing is laminated. This thing has this little spirally thing. Now the back reads, the summary for the story is, what happens to Weenie after he hits uh, all I can tell I that fourth grader uh, grammar H I S instead of instead of H E apostrophe S I don't know I'm still not good with grammar after he's dog and I don't know it's cut out there's a little spirally thing going on where it's supposed to will Rose Snow White Amy and Ricky come to save him find out in this great book. So yeah, that's the premise of my book, Weenie, which, rest in peace, was my wiener dog I had back in the time, was actually the protagonist of the story and was actually the dog I owned in Nintendogs. I believe Rose was this one right here. I think Rose was a... <laughs> I believe Rose was a, was a German Shepherd, if you can get the sense of a German Shepherd. And, well, Snow White, although she's packing a few... Uh, things wrong with her is supposed to be a husky. But yeah, right here on the front, it says by Pedro Pastrana, drawings by Pedro Pastrana. So I remember doing this in fourth grade, and my teacher being like really supportive of it. Now, after discovering this fan fiction, I have my theories as to why that is. I mean, she was a really cool teacher, by far one of the best teachers I've had in my life. So, A, she was just being really supportive of me, and she was kind of into, like, uh, nerdy things. I believe she still is, because I remember, uh, I had a few, uh, talks with her about some, like, geeky stuff. She was really, she was into Invader Sam, I remember. So, she was either very aware that what I was writing was, in fact, a fan fiction, and she was just letting me, you know, go all out, because that was the last year I was in that elementary before moving back into Mexico. And, uh, she just let me go with it. Or, B, she, you know, this was absolutely the funniest thing that she was probably gonna see in her teaching career. Just have a kid, like, write this story based on a video game and the best part she actually made is she actually let me read it to the class I actually read this to, to my class in fourth grade so if any of my classmates are watching I'm sorry yeah I'm sorry about that I, I realize the cringe of it now but I think that's all the backstory we need for this I think mm, now it's about time we actually get to reading uh, pups on Nintendo story my very first fan fiction 
because Lord knows I never stopped writing fan fiction. Oh, oh my god, I, wait, what's this? Oh my god, I just found this inside. I haven't opened this since I found it. I haven't opened it because uh, it's like uh, my kryptonite. I feel the cringe emanating from it, but I actually made a test out of this. I actually gave my classmates a test. I I think I did. I can't remember, but I probably did, you know. Circle your, la your answers. What are the names of the three main characters? Weenie, Rose, so it's Snow White, Ricky, Weenie, and Amy, or none of this? Uh, in the chapter, The Gifts, what did Weenie find? A stick, a fun vase, or a gold bar? What did Snow White and Amy know right away in chapter 6? He was get ice cream? <laughs> that, that fourth grade grammar. He was still at the park. He was dognapped. Oh wait, dognapped. Yeah, I think that's what it was supposed to say back here. Uh, Weenie was dognapped. Okay, now we know what that word is. What happened at the end? Pedro got an Xbox 360, Pedro got a PS3, or Pedro got a Golden Retriever named Maxwell. Well, I'll tell you what I did get. I got a lot of trench looking at this. And what did Weenie do to the napper? He became his friend again. No, wait, that's actually correctly spelled. He licked him. He left. He bit him. Okay, so those are the questions, guys. Uh, pay attention to the story and uh, leave your answers in the comments because, oh, this is just going to be amazing. Okay, so time for the actual read-along. So uh, let's actually get started. And there's actually pictures on this. Trust me, it doesn't add to the story. It's you you don't even need to see the pictures this is it guys after like well like i want to say like 13 years of not knowing where this story was I'm thinking it was just a horrible uh, fever dream i had once let's get into this fanfic chapter one the high and the goodbye uh they're all titled all these chapters i should say are probably only like a few sentences long and they're gonna be terribly written so please forgive me if i too don't know just what the hell is going on Okay, one day at Pedro's house, you dogs be good while I'm on my trip, okay? And I have no... Okay, I'm gonna leave out all the grammatical stuff out of the way. It's gonna be full of it. Pedro told us. Bye, we yelped. Well, his gone. Rose told me and Snow White. Hey, Weenie, can we play with your space shuttle? <laughs> oh my god, dude. I did not realize the innuendo nature of that sentence when when I wrote it. Oh, my teacher must have had just the biggest laugh when I said that out loud in class. If only I could remember her reaction. All right, Snow White is Snow and Rose asked to me. Okay, so this is first person view from Weenie's perspective apparently. Sure, I told him. Thanks. Well, I'll go sleep with my stuffed bear. I said, yawn, which you know. That's just not how it's supposed to be written. Okay, Rose said. Good night, Weenie, Snow White told me. It's been half an hour and I'm hungry, moaned Rose. Let's wake Weenie and get something to eat and drink, Rose told Some Snow White told Rose. And that's chapter one, man. We still got well, like, oh my god, we still got like nine more chapters to go. Okay, ah, uh, chapter two, the talk. Okay, hey Weenie, can you wake up, Rose asked. Yeah, we're hungry, Snow White added. Sure, okay, I told them. Great, both of them cried. Hey, Weenie, can I ask you something? Rose asked me with a mouth full of dry dog food. So apparently Weenie was able to, to serve food for all three of them. Sure, what is it? I replied. Can we go over to Ricky and Amy's? She asked me. Sure, I said, almost choking for some reason. Oh my god. Oh, 10 year old me was just the best when describing things. Chapter 3 Ricky and Amy. What about Juan? Now that's my brother. Snow White asked. Oh, he went with Pedro, Rose answered. Well, let's go. I guess that was supposed to be like some Mario reference. I, oh yeah, I yelled like Mario. Why didn't you just talk like Mario, Snow White asked. I don't know. Why like, grr now? Rose asked. Let's go now. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> I'm so lost. I'm so lost along with you guys. Don't worry about it. I said with an annoying grin. Knock, knock. Who is it? Ricky and Amy asked. Pizza, we shouted. Weenie, Rose, Snow White, come in, Ricky said while greeting us. So what bring you here? 
Amy asks, and that's exactly how it's written. Chapter <laughs> I'm looking at the drawings. Okay, so I might take pictures of this and just like have it run alongside so you guys can actually see like the drawings of this. Chapter 4, The Play Day. Half an hour later. This is fun, I yelled. You're lucky one got you the jump rope, Rose panted. Rose, have some water, Ricky said, pushing the water bowl. Bloop. What? Ricky asked. Ricky asked. Thanks, Rose said. Oh, hey Ricky, can I talk to you? I asked. Sure, what is it? Ricky said. Want to go get some gifts? I asked him. Okay, so hopefully you guys are aware of your Nintendogs lore, because when you walk your dog, you can find uh, gifts all along the road. So I probably should have started with that, explaining a little bit of how Nintendogs work. Hey, just go look up the Wikipedia if you don't know what most of these things are referencing. Don't worry, guys, we're like one third of the way there. Well, actually, we're halfway there, thankfully. <laughs> all right, chapter five, the gift. See ya, I yelled. Where are you going? Rose, Amy, Snow White asked. Getting gifts, Ricky replied. Okay, Rose gladly said. Later on. Sweet, I found the gold bar, I shouted. I found a stick. I'm pretty sure that was a reference to something. I can't remember. Ricky said disappointed. So where did Juan and Pedro go? Ricky asked. The video game club, I answered. Okay. <laughs> um, oh man, I can just, you can just tell I was well, really weird 10 year old oh do you want to go home risky ricky asked no okay i'll go home ricky said see ya i said i don't know who went home i think ricky went home yeah i don't know what the hell is going on ah uh, chapter six dog nap at home hey where's sweetie rose asked i don't know ricky replied he's been dog napped snow white and amy and rose shouted okay just Instantly knew where what had happened. Not that I was pro that Weenie was probably running late or whatever. Oh my God! Ricky yelled, "To the park!" <laughs> Ricky yelled like Lugie, Lugie. <laughs> oh my God! It's L I U G E. Damn win words. 2003, 2003 autocorrect. I can't even speak. <laughs> this story is giving me an aneurysm. Why like Lugie, Luigi? Rose asked. Because Weenie is Mario, Ricky said. Shouldn't you be Mario? Amy asked. Let's go, Ricky replied. Okay, I think that has by far been the most confusing chapter, if not the whole thing. Chapter 7, The Napper. Oh my god, oh my god, blood! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this went dark real quickly. Oh my god, blood! Rose, Amy, Snow White yelled. That's ketchup, Ricky answered. Nice findings. Uh, they all gasped. Bong! Yeah, now you can have a nap, the napper whispered. Okay, so apparently the dog napper just like hit the head of every single little puppy. I hope nobody was watching, because that would have just been like, you seen a guy randomly beating up three little dogs. <laughs> oh my god, I have, I have never paid attention to what I wrote. Oh my god, this is this is this. Gold, this is amazing, guys. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am, or at least you're watching my face basically cringe as I read this and realize I'm putting this up on the internet. Okay, where do we leave off? Okay, later on. Uh, where am I? I whispered. Rose, Amy, Ricky, Snow White, I yelled. Shut up, you mutt, the napper yelled. What did you do? They're just taking a nap, so apparently the napper can understand. A long nap. <laughs> You're a nitwit, you, you, me what? I'm going to kill me? Grr. Get off me. Grr. <laughs> okay, so apparently the dog napper can understand what the dogs are saying. And Weenie's gonna kill him. Keeping in mind Weenie is a wiener dog. Keeping in mind that in dogs, all dogs are puppies. So, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, chapter 8, Dog Gone. That'll show you, I barked. Never mess with a wiener dog. <laughs> <laughs> That'll show you, I barked. Never mess with a wiener dog, I yelled. Will do. Uh, Rose, Snow White, Amy, Ricky. Oh, I was supposed to be excited right there. We saw it all, Rose said. Yeah, Ricky said. Shouldn't we be getting home so fairly? Uh, all the other dogs were able to get out for some reason. They didn't even need Weenie's help or whatever. Amy and Snow White asked. Oh my god, you're right. You're. You're right. Juan and Pedro come home. 
Tomorrow. I yelled. Come on, let's go home. Freaking I yelled. Hey, Rosehead, can we get gifts still? Rose asked. Oh, we're pretty much at the end of it, guys. Okay. Chapter 9 is only two sentences long. Chapter 9, home again. It's good to be home, I said. You ask me, I'm hungry. Rose yelled. Yeah, me too, Snow White said. Okay, how about a dog can? I asked. Sure, they yelled. Chapter 10, we're at the end, guys. Owner, home, friend, home. What a terrible title, I... Oh. I'm home, and I brought home something for you, Pedro yelled. Woof, woof. We bark, so yeah, I'm led to believe now that the napper could understand dogs and everybody else can't for some reason. Oh my god, woof woof! We bark, it's a golden retriever and his name's Max. Hi, hi Max, said Chifley. Oh, ha hi, Max said Chifley. Hi, my name is Rose and I'm your sister. <laughs> I'm Snow White and I'm also your sister. And I'm your brother, Weenie. Well, what do we do, Mass asked. You'll see, I said. And that is the end of that. Loud, let's see. In the back, I wrote a little biography of myself. You can see that's supposed to be me right there. <laughs> Ten-year-old, nine-year-old me. Ah, Peter Pana is a Nintendox freak who doesn't do anything but play Nintendogs all day. He lives in Colorado with his... With W-H-I-A-T. Uh, yeah. That grammar wasn't the best. With his mom, dad, brother, sister, and his dog, Weenie. So yeah, guys. Uh, what do you think? Should I become a New York Times bestseller? If you ask me, I, I definitely should. I've definitely earned that accolade. So yeah, guys. That was my terrible, terrible, cringy Nintendogs fanfiction from fourth grade. I gotta say, looking back at it now... Part of, part of me wants to feel nostalgic because I remember writing this, like, it took me, I think, like, two or three weeks. It actually took me a lot longer than you would imagine to write this. I somehow managed to get my teacher to allow me to do that. She supported me. She let me read this in class. She let me test my classmates. And the dang book is laminated. So there, there's probably some God knows uh, mystical reason this thing is still in my possession even though I thought I had like thrown it out years ago. So I guess the whole purpose is that was to wait 13 years to pop up uh, for me to make a video about it and share it with you guys. I don't know, I, I'm really at a loss for words as to what I'm supposed to say. I mean I'm like physically feeling the cringe go up and down my body right now because you know it's a terrible story, it's a terrible story. It's, it's understandable for a 10 year old but it's terrible. I've seen stuff written by 10 year olds that's far leagues better than whatever this thing was. Not to mention my drawings look like, uh, I don't know, I, I, they definitely look like stuff of nightmares. Anyways, I think that's gonna be it for this video, you know. Just a little bit of a departure from my typical content. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, don't forget to actually answer the quiz down in the comments below. You can go back to like hear the questions and like see what the answers are and just write them down in the comments below. Anyways guys, that's everything for this video. I hope you found some enjoyment out of it, out of seeing me cringe. I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And yeah, that's everything. Take care my dudes. Later.